Good morning. This is such a lovely, lovely time. Earlier this morning, I was with some students who had done some internships down at the hotel. And when I looked at those young folks, I thought about Mr. Mo Lucas, his pride and joy working with children. And it's always good to stop to say thank you to our citizens when they do outstanding things. This morning we do have our another council person with us, Councilmember Larson. And in a few minutes, if he wants to speak, he may. And we also have with us Mr. Law. He is the head of the WISE. And, and also see Mr. Daniels who worked and then we have Mr. Terry. How many of you, when you were growing up, did you have Mr. Mo Lucas as went to the Y down on Patterson and then over here? When my husband was a principal, he made sure all the students at Cook went to the Y on Patterson and then out here. I didn't realize until someone told me that Mr. Mo Lucas and my husband, Logan Burke, finished WSSU at the same time. And uh, Ms. Manning, who's with the uh, alumni, I was over at the university, and she said, we lost two very fine gentlemen when they were in our class. And Ms. Manning lives right up the street there somewhere on Spalding Drive, it's that way. She said um, she was a beginning student right out of college, and my husband and Mr. Mo Lucas, they entered as veterans. She said, but they were the finest gentlemen that you would want to meet. And I can say, knowing both of them, especially my husband, a fine man, and Mr. Lucas showed on each and every day how much he appreciated working with children. And all of us wanted our children to have that opportunity to go through Mr. Lucas. So at this time, I'm going to continue with the program. I don't see Mr. Montgomery. Was he, do you know he's coming? All right. I do see... Um, would you like to say something, Mr. Larson? I'll say All right. Uh, my name is John Larson. I'm actually from the South Ward, uh, but I would like to say one one comment. Uh, I have only been on council now for about seven months, and the one thing I've admired about this city is the idea of service. And I think probably Mo Lucas, from reading his biography, I didn't know him personally. I, I, I did not attend any of his classes. But in reading his, his, his narrative here, the thing that struck me is that there's a certain level of service that oftentimes is totally under the radar in this city. And particularly when it comes to children, because they don't get a lot of press. You know, you don't you don't hear a lot of times about people that are actually serving our our, our future generations. But what impresses me about him is 60 years, not only in the army, not only serving this country, at at the broadest level. But as a as a veteran myself, I appreciate that. But the idea that somebody would come forward and dedicate a lifetime of serving our youngest generations and, and the legacy of that is seen here today and seen here throughout the city. And, and service is probably the thing that would differentiate this city because we seem very committed to it. I admire um, Mo Lucas. I appreciate everybody who came out and support and remembering him and hopefully his standard will be something that we can live up to in the future. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I started saying we have our city manager here, Mr. Lee Garrity. They didn't quite see, raise your hand, some just turned around, Mr. Lee Garrity. And we have our assistant city manager, Mr. Brown. And of course we have, um, we have Ms. Martin with us who works as an administrative person with the city manager. And we do have 
Mr. McNeil, who's over our marketing and his staff here. And I see our assistant chief Weaver. And I see Miss Pam Peoples Joyner. Uh, she's off today, but she made sure she came over for this occasion because she's always in the community working with our young people and with parents. And if I left anybody out, if you just raise your hand, and one of our former employees, Miss Carrie, at this time we will have the president of the pre of the Mo Lucas Foundation, Mr. Terry. Good morning. Well, we can say a lot about Mr. Lucas. He was a um, genuine man. We won't find too many like him. Can't be duplicated. A lot of people say I'm the next one, but like I say, it can't be duplicated. He came along, and um, I guess that was the generation where it was legal to get whoopings. And all of us got our fair share of whoopings from Mr. Lucas, all the way up to where we was grown men and women. He had a paddle. Um, he issued discipline. He was he was a very distinguished gentleman, and um, I could go on and on about him because he did so much great things for so many people. But to carry on the organization, it's not me by myself. Um, Mr. Antoine Wilson, Mr. Curtis Wilson, Miss Verdell is not here at the moment, but she is along with the organization, and um, it's quite a few that he touched that carry on his legacy. Ms. Burke, we thank you and the city of Winston-Salem for what's going on today. It's a very memorable thing, and we'll make sure we come up here annually to remind this city that it is here and that he is still among us. Thank you all for coming out today, and thank you all. I didn't know Mr. Luca used to swing the paddle. That's new on me. <laughs> um, my son went through Mr. Lucas, but he never told me he got the paddle. But one day he was speaking at church, my son, and he mentioned going to school where his father was the principal when he was in the fifth grade. And his teacher was Miss Sadler. And Miss Sadler said, I've spoken to you one time, Todd, and I've spoken to you another time. Now let's go up to see the principal. He said, oh, please don't take me up there. She said, oh, come on. So he went up to see the principal, and she reported him to the principal. And the principal said, thank you. You may go back to your class. I'll take care of this young man. Uh, he said to his father, who was the principal, daddy, please don't do that over here. He said, but you did it over here, so I'll have to put the, put the strap on you too. So sometimes doing certain things uh, will not hurt people. It will help them in the long run. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Law. He is the president and CEO of the YMCA of the Northwest North Carolina, Mr. Law. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Ms. Burke, for all you do for this community. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get the pleasure of meeting Mo Lucas, uh, but being a longtime YMCA staff person in this state, uh, I feel like I knew him. I knew of him and I knew of his great work. So thank you for the city for honoring him uh, in this way and keeping his legacy uh, moving forward. When we lost Moses Mo Lucas last year, we lost a Y role model a mentor for generations of children in Winston-Salem. As many of you know, Mo worked at the Winston Lake YMCA, formerly the Patterson uh, Avenue YMCA, serving Winston-Salem for um, almost 50, more than 50, almost 60 years. He was really a part of the foundation of this community. Our organization um, that he founded the Youth Incentive Program, as well as the Mo Lucas Boss Drummers, a longstanding popular drum line, and the Why Yet's a majorette dance troupe. Following his retirement, Mo continued to be active in the Winston Lake Family YMCA until his passing. Mo was a legend in our community. His dedication and to mentoring young people uh, was unending. When you make when you make a difference in the life of a child, that impacts 
goes far beyond the time that you uh, are with that child. It really continues throughout that child's life. Mo knew and was dedicated to the children of this community and certainly obviously made a difference to so many. Uh, our YMC is certainly stronger because of Mo Lucas and what he did for this community. He certainly is a legend within the YMC of Northwest North Carolina and we will do our part to continue to lift up his legacy and all that he did for this community. Again, thank you for this time. Uh, thank you again, Ms. Burke, for all you do for this community and let's continue to to uh, lift up Mr. Lucas for all that he did for this community. Thank you. When the past CEO came to town and asked to have a meeting with me, I met with him and the first person I mentioned to him was Mr. Lucas. And I said to have the family why, we should put Mr. Lucas in a way that when anyone who walks in he will tell his story. And of course, the past CEO was very glad to do that. And when you go to the family, why you do see Mr. Lucas. When I found out that, um, even before, that Mr. Lucas was going to be buried in Salisbury as a veteran, I felt that we as a city, and when I say we, the city did all the work, but I spent the money, that we would put something here to let the community, and when people walk through this, I'm down here all the time, and I walk through and I look at the names of people, and I see people who've contributed to this community, and many of them have their own monument. And I said now, when the young students, Mr. Terry, who works with him, you need to take time to bring them down so that they can see this is a public cemetery but we keep it, it's just like it's a private cemetery. We take very good care of this cemetery and it will be taken care of on and on and on. Isn't that right, Mr. Lee Garrity? It will, even if we have no places here to bury people, this cemetery will forever be taken care of in a first class way. I'm happy that when we have citizens who give of themselves, that we can pause to say, thank you. And I'm sure a lot of parents said to Mr. Mo Lucas before he passed, thank you. You don't need to hear about how good you are when your eyes are closed. You need to hear about how good you are when your eyes are open. So we give people our appreciation. And Mr. Mo Lucas still has some family members living. So I want to say to all of you who've come out on this day, how much we appreciate you coming out, how you would pause to say this is an important occasion, and we're here to honor a man who has served well. And we thank all of the participants. Now we're going to have the unveiling. Mr. McNeil, tell us what you want us to do.